so I'm here today to show you what I would carry in my carry-on or my tote. I, if, usually, if I'm gonna travel, I have two kids, so I have to bring a carry-on and a check-in. Uh, but if you just wanted to just bring your personal things and it's just you, you don't have anybody else to worry about, then you can simply just do this. Uh, I have to lug this plus their stuff. So I'm just showing you just for reference, I guess you can say. Um, traveling, I would most likely, uh, I'll start with like an outfit. Uh, I would go in something like this. I am leaving from cold to hot. So it's all predicated on what, you know, the climate you're going to or you're traveling to if you're going from hot to cold. Um, but this is just me going from winter time, like snowing weather, to tropical, hot, warm weather. So I can't wear flip-flops to the airport because I would have my foot, my foot would be frozen type thing. Or, is what I'm trying to say, I guess. So anyway, um, I would probably wear a tank top like this. This is like a muscle tee tank. And over top of it, I would wear something like uh, a blazer. This one is from Zara and it's super comfortable. Um, I wouldn't feel restricted in it or you can wear a leather jacket, sweater, comfy cardigan. I would also bring like a, a nice scarf to keep me warm on the plane. I would also wear a pair of very comfy worn in boyfriend jeans, which I have tons of. Um, I don't even think I own a pair of like skinny jeans because I'm, I've converted to the whole boyfriend jean thing. So I would wear that just because you're going to be checking in and checking out and you have to get your shoes off through, um, you know, when you go through security and all that stuff. So I would most likely probably wear a pair of boots. And I know what you're thinking, these don't look comfortable, but I swear to you, they are super comfy. So a pair of boots that you could just slip your foot in and out or a pair of flats if you wanted to. Sneakers to me are a little bit too much, like I would have to untie then tie. So I'm doing these. These are actually my acne um, Jensen boots and my foot goes in and out of them and again super comfy. I would I would take them off during the flight of course. So that would pretty much be my outfit. Um, Makeup, I probably would go to the airport barefaced with my skin already done. I don't understand why women get on a flight with a full face of makeup. I just, I don't know. I don't care what anyone like thinks of me or what I look like. I don't care what I look like. But um, I will bring makeup with me to put on after the flight or when I'm about to get off. And that, again, that's also depending the time of day that you're arriving and are you going straight from somewhere to or you just want to look presentable, or when you get there, it's nighttime. So again, all depending on what type of flight you're going on, what time, whatever. Now as for what I would be bringing with me, I did quickly want to mention something that I purchased, or I made a little order from Henry Pendle, and I really like their stuff. The quality of their stuff is really nice. I've never had anything from them, but um, cute luggage tags, and some of them can be monogrammed. This one particularly, the striped one, can't. But I will link it down below if you were interested in. I did mention in like my tips that it's super easy to, like if you added this to your carry-on or your luggage, when you see it on the conveyor belt, you'll say, ooh, that's mine, because it's, you know, the tag. Um, of course, it would I would bring my passport. This is also from Henry Bendel. And inside, it's nice because it has like slots for your cards. It has a, an extra pocket. Here, your passport sign slide. Ugh. <laughs> your passport slides in here. And again, you can opt to either monogram it in silver or gold. Um, I decided to do it silver, but absolutely love the. Um, it's some type of leather, and I can't think of it. But I will link it down below. I also picked up this cute trio set of bags if I can untangle them which you've probably seen on my Instagram but these three bags with a cute little handle and in here are all of my beauty essentials which I'll go over with you in a minute so I would bring that of course 
Uh, passport, you obviously need. Uh, I need glasses because I can't see, so I would bring my reading glasses, and these are just Ray-Ban Clubmasters, I believe. Um, the reading ones. And um, like I said that I was going from cold to a warmer climate, um, I don't want to wear boots when I get to like 80 degree weather. So um, I have these dust bags from my boots and inside I just have some like espadrille slip-on things. So keep those in the dust bags. I don't like the bottom of my shoes touching anything at all in my bag, especially touching clean clothes, it's disgusting. So invest in dust bags or I said shower caps or even like Ziploc bags if you couldn't find anything. Of course, I would bring my camera, but I'm filming with it. So I would put it in this like, I don't know, like the slip cover for it almost. And I purchased this off of Amazon a long time ago. It has like a little zip compartment, but the camera just sits in there. And I will link it down below if you were interested in purchasing one. Um, I have another, everything is like divided into bags so that nothing's touching or making a mess. And um, the reason why I haven't shown you a tote, I have it in like this big old like tote bag that we have laying around the house. But I'm debating myself whether to order a long shop one or uh, what was the other one? There was another tote bag that I was interested in, so I haven't quite made up my mind. But if you do have some recommendations, just leave them in the description box for me. I would really appreciate that. But anyway, getting back, um, everything is in bags divided. So in here are just cables and cords. I also have like a Mophie pack for my cell phone, just in case. Um, I will be tweeting and Instagramming as much as I could and all that good stuff. Um, I also have my hard drive because I will be editing, I'm pretty sure, on the flight. I think I'm gonna upload like a get ready with me, so. Um, iPad, my kids, of course, I'd need this for them, but. Um, my, MacBook. Okay, next I would bring headphones and these are actually from friends and they come in their only or their own little case and these are the silver ones. I can't remember the name of them, but they're super comfy. Next I have a folder and in this folder would be all of my documents like uh, paperwork for the flight, hotel, you know, anything that I, and everything that I would, could possibly need would be in this manila folder. But these are my Celine ones and they pretty much go with everything that I would wear. So now, depending on where you're going, you might want to bring your swimsuit with you or you might not. I am because where I'm going, there will be a pool once we get there, the hotel. So maybe we'll want to get in the water. I have this dust bag and it is from net a porter net a porte however you want to pronounce it um i did go ahead and order this stella mccartney bathing suit and this is like the perfect bathing suit for your average tomboy or non-girly girl i'm just i don't get along with like those nice feminine pieces like bathing suits they look beautiful, absolutely beautiful. There's nothing wrong with them. I just, my style, no. So this is the one that um, Stella McCartney did a collaboration with Adidas. So it has the little Adidas symbol and then it says Stella McCartney on the back, but they're just plain black. Here's the bottom. And then the top, I like that it comes up like it's kind of like a scuba gear-ish inspired type thing, but it looks like a racer back, something like working out. So if I wanted to change my clothes right away before I got to the hotel, depending on what the weather was like, uh, I have another dust bag and this one's from Diptyque and I, I keep everything. So in here are just a pair of jean shorts, as you can see, and then a cami if I felt grimy and sweaty in the one that I'm wearing, I probably won't, but um, this one is from Cami, and it's just like a silk camisole. And I would bring a fresh pair of underwear, some socks for the flight. 
Now as for the beauty bags, I take this time to have a full on like pampering spa session on the flight. I do not care who's looking. I do not care what I look like to others. Um, and it doesn't matter if it's a long haul flight or a short flight. My flight will be for three hours, but the cabin air is just recycled air. So it's dirty, it's super drying, and my skin usually goes mental because of all of the dry air. So I would get on the flight with nothing on my face, would wash my face at home, get ready. Um, I do have a toothbrush in here just, just in case. <laughs> Um, my hair, of course, would be wet, like I said, um, but I would, let me see, I'd give my face a wipe, and I have these cleanse wipes from Laura Napier, and they're just individual um, wrapped makeup wipes. Um, I do have some body lotion in here, just in case if my skin got dry, I wanted to put some cream on, I don't know. But these are from and other stories and it's just nice to keep sample packets for things like this uh, I do have some tissues in there just to keep my hands clean now I have a sheet mask and this is from dr. Jart and it is their water replenishment cotton sheet mask if you're brave and you don't care what anyone looks like or what anyone thinks you look like um, go ahead and put on a face mask for a little bit. If not, you can also keep it in there just if you wanted to do it after the flight in the hotel room just because your face will feel dry. I also have the Touchda Luminous Deep Hydration Eye Masks. My under eyes are dry as it is so these would be awesome to just slap on and leave them on for the flight. I do have this Air Repair Super Hydrating Eye Cream. This stuff is so, 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 so hydrating. I can't even begin to tell you. I used it two days now and my under eyes, and this is just amazing. I don't know what's in this stuff, but it's really good. So I would bring some form of eye cream just to keep them hydrated. Um, and then pots. You can get these at like your local dollar store. In the one, I would bring some Aleve because I get headaches no matter what. And then the last two, I would probably put a face mask in the one, some type of hydrating mask. And it would be the Glossier, what is it? The Moisturizing Moon Mask. And it's the one with the blue lettering. I would slather this on and keep it on my face for the entire flight or just about when we're ready to land. So this would be my moisturizing uh, mask of choice. You can also go with like the Origins, what is it called? The Overnight, Overnight Hydrating Mask. That one has hyaluronic acid in it. Uh, that's a, a really good one. I know Kate Somerville do a really nice one as well. I think it's like their, uh, what is it? Their Hydro Quench range. And then my facial moisturizer would probably go in the other one. And for that, I would bring the Air Repair um, Complexion Boosting Moisturizer. And this has hyaluronic acid as well. Uh, just, you, you wanna bring something that's really rich, creamy, hydrating, so that you're not super dry throughout the flight. And then I also have this for in between. I was bouncing between this and the Caudalie Beauty Elixir, but this is, it's the same effect. And um, this one's a little bit more pricier. Pricier. This is from Aesop. But I find that they, I like this one better. And I shouldn't say that, but I do. <laughs> and I love that one. Cause, and if you wanted to get that one, I know that one's like a cult classic and everyone goes for that one. But this one, it's super hydrating. Uh, I do find that I get that glowy effect it smells amazing, and I love Aesop's stuff. So that is what I would bring for skincare apart from, what do you call it? Uh, some Aesop hand sanitizer. This one happens to be from And Other Stories, this hand cream. So after I've done my whole skincare thing, then I would bring a scent, just sample perfume. Um, this third bag is what I'm using to store all the makeup in. I put all the skincare 
and then like the hand care stuff in here, miscellaneous things. But all my makeup fits into this pouch. Um, and of course, check, you know, what you're allowed to bring, the, you know, milliliters and things like that, depending on what flight you're get, you're, or what, <laughs> I can't speak, what airlines you are flying with. After I would wipe everything off and start to put makeup on, it would be very simple, very lightweight, very natural. It would be nothing elaborate. Um, I would first start off with SPF if I'm going somewhere where it's super sunny. And this is by Vita Liberata and this is their Broad Spectrum SPF 50. I would bring like a BB cream or CC cream. I really like the Burberry Fresh Glow BB cream and this happens to be in dark. And this also has an SPF of 20, but it's just very glowy, very moisturizing. I would set that with like a Charlotte Tilbury powder. Cheeks, I would stick to cream and this is the Tom Ford, um, Cream Cheek Color in Pink Sand. I've spoken about this. This is like a highlighter cream color in one, so multitasking. I would bring some lip balm just to keep my lips hydrated throughout the flight. I have this Kate Somerville Illumicate Concealing Eye Cream. Now this has skincare properties to it, and it's also going to help with dark circles. I would bring eyelash curlers, my mascara, eyebrow pencil. This is the Burberry one and try to get one that has like a spoolie built into it so you don't have to bring a brush with you. The Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude Lip Pencil and the YSL, um, this is their Voluptuous Candy in number 13. That would be sufficient enough for me. And all of that fits into these little bags from Henry Bendel. I hope this video wasn't too long. I try to run through everything quickly, which is if I'm like out of breath, it's because I've been pausing in between breaks. But uh, next video would be, uh, will be a makeup look, something that you can wear on like a beachy summery holiday. And if you have been tanning, uh, someone asked me like what would type of makeup look would they wear after dinner or after they've been in the sun all day. So I'm gonna do something along those lines. And again, I hope this was helpful for you all. And I, I will list everything down below, I promise. And if I forget something, just let me know. And I will see you guys in the next one.